all reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of episode 12 of season 2 of Maiden Abyss, the season finale, gold. And press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. This double length, which I didn't know until last week when I tuned in to watch the new episode, and it didn't exist because there was a hiatus I didn't know about. But this makes the wait worth it. I get that the hiatus was probably unrelated to the double length episode, but whatever. <laughs> All right, screaming contest. I'm down. <laughs> Awesome. The arrow's there. <laughs> oh dear. It broke its teeth off. If her blood is eating them, and that's new. Holy shit! Okay. I, I'm effectively repeating myself at this point. It's, it's unavoidable. But the buildup and payoff of this season has been so remarkable. I guess not to say it's perfect. I do almost feel like we could have probably shaved off, like, a, at least an episode's worth of time uh, and made the story tighter than it is, but it, that's not a lot. Like, that is remarkably well constructed. Not to mention, everything's been fucking awesome. It occurs to me now that, uh, we've been through the whole show, pretty much. I can afford to look a little bit more at this intro. Most of it's just scenes from the show, as a general. Not like these scenes, but precursors to them. I know people are probably just like, yeah, just get to the show. I'm sorry. I I'm prolonging the inevitable. I don't want to go the years and years that it's going to be till we get more Maiden Abyss. Because it's probably going to be a good long while. I got lucky getting in when I did with season one. just last year. Ah. 
I'll go. I'll get started. All right, starting the timer at three sixteen. In three, two, one, go. It, well, I guess, I guess it went well. Or are we back in time again? I thought, yeah, we're back in time. Cool. Or... <laughs> Good thing to know you're being updated by the others. As reg, right? Oh, no, wait, wait. Duh. Sorry. Because you, you're likely to scare away any smaller threats, and you're incapable of harming her yourself. You're a little creepy robot, gotta say. Oh, wait! She's been helping him rebuild! Okay, that's how it worked out. <laughs> Understands a rewards based system, at least. The beginning of desire. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that again. Wasn't in the naming mood. All right. It's very... <laughs> you came up with that in good order. You, yeah. I was I was gonna go for the one piece with Burke, be like you chapoon or whatever it is. <laughs> By supplying her with knowledge, 
she she is more prepared for the world in general. So haha, protection. Oh, we're skipping way forward now. Yeah. Yep. She ain't even being quiet. These these are just they're just too heavy of sleepers. The same as mother in what regard? <laughs> All right. If only you could have established a better relationship with everybody earlier on. Maybe. Even if things couldn't have been perfect, things could have gone better. Turning to that which you hope to destroy. Oh, oh, she's the same as mother. Got it, got it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> He's like a distressed father. Ooh. Ooh, more? Oh, okay, we're just in a different place. I was like, oh, flashback land was fun, but we didn't really learn anything that new. Kind of some explanations for motivations to a degree, but not a lot. <laughs> Literally right there. But <laughs> what about Fueco? And I think his name's Wazikan. I I screw up. I've been screwing up his name all season. Where are they? Uh, you guys are awfully forgiving. I think uh, but perhaps a little bit too forgiving, given context, but cool. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
You are the weirdest character. Why? His lips were moving so little, but he was so loud. Relative. <laughs> I need that level of positivity. <laughs> Value itself, gold. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if we compiled the, uh, various significant characters. If they each represent one part of that, especially the Sovereigns. Honestly, this character is so weird that I I don't think there's anything they could do to tap off his story that would really be satisfying. I need some backstory on him. Like how he ended up the way he is, because he was like this before we ever met him. Uh, we now, I was going to say it earlier with some of the musical choices. Uh, are we in just Majora's Mask now? Because <laughs> that, that scream. Iffy? Maybe we can get a whistle or something after this. And not like one of the fancy whistles, just a regular like gym coach whistle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that we're getting told what she's saying, though. But what is it? Yeah, that's that's his end game, but. Oh. Oh! 
Oh, word. Cool. Okay. Are you sure you're not also a weirdly motivated character in this season? I guess I was over conditioned for the in the first season, even if uh the uh, first sovereign we met whose name escapes Ren Ozen uh ended up being kinda cool to just distrust everybody. You are doing your best being just an absolutely great hairdo, okay? If you can do any more beyond that, you're a winner. That still might be my favorite scene in this show is when Rico releases her. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> She's like, are you a bad person? Actually, I don't care. Released. <laughs> Ooh. I really hope you, you're you not dead at the end of this. Pretty please. Oh. Are you asking yourself if you'd do it all again? As much as I like Nanachi, I think I might like Vueco a little better as just this extremely old, jaded person of the abyss. Please don't die. Please don't die. I like you so much. Oh boy. You're hollowing? No. Because you were ascending. <gasps> no! No! Not like this! Aww. I I guess that's good. But you're not dead yet, so maybe there's at least a happier ending. Oh dear. Hey. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I get what she's going for, but ow.
I take it back, this show sucks. Okay? <laughs> yeah, can't afford to, uh... It hurts the mission, I guess, by making complications. Yeah, she can guide you. Yeah, to, uh, I guess, I'm assuming her brain is what they're looking for. I would guess that's where she'll be able to hear her best from. At least give her some closure, man. That was... That was wrong! Ooh. <laughs> ah, I'm in the zone over here! <laughs> that joy to, hey, fuck off. All right. All right. Awesome. Hey, monster. Can we chill for a minute? Time out. All right. All right. Whoa. It does damage to you, too? Maybe they showed that before and I just didn't realize. <laughs> Plus Ultra! Dude, imagine if both of his arms were still working. Oh. Oh. The mature thing here, huh? That's why you were, uh, eating them with your blood, right? I'm prepared to call them intruders. Your plan opened the door. <laughs> yeah, imagine if he still had two working arms.
Yeah. How long does the your silver mode last if you don't turn it off like you did last time? How are you doing that? It's the same problem as a uh, tails in Sonic. It's like how are your tails not just getting all tangled up? It's cool looking, but it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Munch, 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 MORE! Oh, that's disturbing. Is she giving some of her life back? <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll do his best. I really am expecting us to be able to see whatever his body looks like before this is all over, but unfortunately that probably means he will die. Whoa. That uh, uh, reminds me of one really great episode of Superman the Animated Series. Uh, character Metallo. Uh, man in a... Yeah, with a machine body. He gets trapped underground, loses his memory. And, yeah, if it gets unearthed and doesn't realize who he is, they go through the whole episode and he knows who he is. He knows he's Metallo. Um, he's totally forgotten his regular name, only that. And he gets buried again. And all he tells himself is, I am Metallo. And that's how they close the episode. It's creepy as hell. And he just repeats it over and over again. That's what this makes me think of. That same single-minded determination for your goal and purpose to stick through all those years. It's exhausting, isn't it? Ah! No! Somebody help! I guess I'm gonna call her the nine-tailed moth! Thank you. <laughs> Were you too kind? No, it's not over for you yet. I don't think so. Yep! 
No way. Letting you go out that easy. <laughs> I swear the uh, the music in this episode is it's like jumped up and down in in volume. It's been weird. Oh no. Are you Leaving your body? Yep. Are you just like... You're sacrificing yourself for that. There was nothing else you could do anyway. Oh, oh okay. Okay, it's still Majikaja. Got it. <laughs> Never quite had this body to play with, huh? I wonder if this is it, just your final hurrah. Being in something so strong. <laughs> I swear, if they re if they reveal that this is Ma, that Ma, there's there's whole different levels of what the fuck going on here. But no, I don't think that's what's up. Oh, we've jumped forward. Reg, yeah. It's been a bad day for these things. Whoa. Is it putting it out of its misery? Oh. Uh, all right. clicking is it just feels like it's right next to my ear when when she was doing that which obviously technically it is but you know what i mean oh i swear to god if you say granddaughter Yeah. Can't really afford to look at anything from this whole fucked up situation is worse than it already is, so we might as well see the positives.
Awesome. Yes! In fact, you look uh, so much like her, it would be totally reasonable for one to think that she was you. Oh, God, with the tears. <laughs> Not so... Haku, right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> literally falling apart at the seams here. <laughs> because it's fucking sad! I know! Oh my god, this is almost over, isn't it? Oh... Are they, they're not burying her alive, are they? Are, are they? No, then? Okay, so sh she died. I almost have the slightest feelings, and this isn't just my desire for it to be true, but also just the weirdness, that we're not done with Vueco. Or to a lesser extent, was you can. Oh, hold on to those thoughts, because I'm not. It's weird. Please, we need the power puncher. Oh, don't, don't play hard to get. Man, that put it.
All right. A merry band of myth misfits going along an adventure to fuck everything up. And you're on board, right? <laughs> I tell you what, I would have preferred Vueco if I had to pick between the two. Joining the team. Well, don't say no now. Oh! <laughs> She lasering you? <laughs> how how much later? Maybe we'll be lucky and there'll be a, like a movie, <laughs> at least a t in between. That'd be nice. This was a great fucking season, man. Man, I guess my major. Complaint is the character of Wazu Khan. I still don't really get what he was all about in broad strokes. Maybe I'm stupid. I'm fine with that, whatever, but. Dude, I don't care. I'm to the point of loving the main group, and I like Faputa enough that I totally see her meshing into this group without much issue, as well as Prushka. Brushka, uh, just by extension. But I, I like this main group so much that I don't really care what happens to them. They could have an entire season of them opening up a tea shop. And that's the only drama, and I'm down for that season. This got weird, what's up? Okay, okay. No, I absolutely adore Made in Abyss in pretty much every way. <laughs> I had to tear my soul out earlier in this episode, but at least I got some closure. For Vueco's story, that's... I would have been dismayed if she was over with in the scene where it looked like she was over with. I was not ready for that shit. At least there was some closure, and we got the, the semi-happy ending, at least between the, uh, the bittersweet ending, but which is all you can ask for in this fucking show. Um, 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 I will say this. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual people, groups, etc. is entirely coincidental. If this resembles an actual group of people, poor bastards. <laughs> 
see you guys on another show. Uh, tune in October 1st. There's a uh, good show coming. Not like Made in Abyss, as far as I know. Obviously, I've not seen it, so maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> see ya then.